everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new. If you've not already, make sure you don't unsubscribe so you can see more of my videos. So in today's video, as I'm sure you can all tell by the title, I'm going to be making McDonald's. So this was a trend like a couple of weeks ago, I think. And I thought I would hop on the trend now and do it. <laughs> I'm always so late to trends, I don't know why. But um, I'm pretty sure a lot of McDonald's have opened back up now anyway. But where I live, I actually live like 45 minutes away from the closest McDonald's anyway. So we barely ever go. And I thought it would be super fun to make McDonald's from home. I'm pretty sure my brother is going to be joining me later on to actually like cook it all. But for now, I'm going to be preparing a lot of it. So I'm going to be making a Big Mac burger, I'm making chips, and I'm also going to be making mozzarella sticks, dipper things. I'm actually in a super good mood today, so I'm really excited for this video. Earlier on, me and mum prepared the burgers, so there is four of us that are going to be having it. So we've got an eight um, like patty things, whatever you want to call them, um, because you have like two burgers in each. So we've gotten them all on here, and then we just used, for this we just used like minced meat, and then we just um, seasoned it with pepper and salt. Um, so they're super easy to make. So we just did those on camera and I also got my mum to do it because I did not want to touch it. I am now going to be preparing the mozzarella sticks and we're going to be doing the chips later on because we can just do that when we're actually cooking it but I thought I would I thought I'd prepare the mozzarella sticks now. Um, also do you guys like my hair? Um, if you saw my Instagram stories I washed my hair and then I put it in five plaits and took it out this morning and I'm literally in love. I've been taking so many Instagram photos this morning. Um, but yes yeah, so I am now going to get on making the mozzarella sticks. So I've got the recipe for the mozzarella sticks on my phone. I am going to be putting all of the ingredients that you need for the burgers, for the mozzarella sticks and for the chips all in the description down below in case you guys want to make it at home. If you guys do decide to make it at home then make Make sure you post a picture on your story or on your Instagram feed and tag me in it and I'll repost it on my story. So I've gotten these here. I've also gotten my breadcrumbs and then my eggs and also my flour. So I'm going to get out three different bowls. So I've got three different bowls here. These are actually such cute bowls. They've got little beads on them. They're really cute. So I've also just grabbed a plate and some baking powder so that I can put it on baking paper spray. Um, so I can put it on the plate once I've done them. I just called my brother and he's actually going to come and help me now um, to like prepare them and everything, which is good because he needs to even crack the eggs. Because I hate cracking eggs, I hate getting it all over my fingers. Okay, so we're going to do that now. That's easy. Yeah, no, it's really easy. I don't really know how much you need, does it say, so I think you just do it however you fancy, to be fair. It's just how much you need, really. Yeah, okay. I'm now going to mix the eggs together. Blake is now doing the baby bells, he's just taking them out first and then we're actually going to start dunking them and then putting them back on here. So yeah, I will help you actually and we can just speed this up and put it on time lapse. Mm. Just do you like baby bells normally? I mean they're right, they're a bit dense of cheese but fine. I don't like them. Well no. that's because I don't like cheese though. Okay guys, Blake is going to do the first one, so it goes in the flour first, and then it's going to go into the egg, and then uh -huh. the breadcrumbs. Okay guys, so we've just done all of the... So we've just finished these and they're now going to go in the fridge for like for like a couple of hours. They don't, by the way guys, they don't have to go in the fridge. We're, we're only doing it for like pre-preparing them and then we're going to actually cook them properly later. So you have to do it all in one go kind of thing. Look how many wrappers there are here from the baby bells. But this is now going to go in the fridge. We need to find somewhere to put it because it's literally got no room. We will be back in a couple of hours to finish the burgers and cook the mozzarella sticks and make the chips. So we have returned. It is now... Half past five, and Blake and Shannon are also with moi. So we're going to start off with the chips. So for the chips, again, like I said, I'll leave all the stuff you need down below. But we've got on French fries. We've got on beef stock cubes. We've got on. It said to use vegetable oil. But we've got olive oil, so it should be fine. And then also some soy milk, and then we also need some water. So I've got, <laughs> I've got my little towel. In. I'm going to use this little thing to make the um, mix in, it's not mix, but to make the stuff in. Mm. Right, so we've got the water in, and then it's the soya milk, so we need 50 mils, so let me grab this. 
We've actually never had soy milk before, but it's neat. It's unsweetened soy milk, because that's what soy milk it's good. good, is it? Yeah. And then we need one beef stock cube. I've never actually seen what these look like before. They're just literally hard to pound. Why put that on? Let me smell it. <laughs> Attempt to. <laughs> so we have the wrong stock cubes because um, for the chips is the only thing that I didn't follow a proper recipe for. We just did Anastasia's video and she said beef stock cubes, but then we just watched it and she actually used like powder ones. So we're going to empty this out and then we're going to use... Where do we put this? I think. It's fine. It's still a little bit. And then we're going to do it with hot water instead. So we're just going to substitute the cold water for hot water and hopefully that will work better. So <laughs> we are back and we're now um, done that. We just used hot water instead of cold water so it like melt the stock cube um, and it is now better. So we're going to add some salt to make it nice and salty. <laughs> okay, we've added some, should we add pepper or not? Can I do? I need a little bit. I'm going to add this salt and we're going to add a little bit of pepper just so that it's like properly mcdonald's you know <laughs> just a bit of pepper though yeah before we put the chips in the oven we need to fry the um so basically you're meant to just fry the mozzarella sticks but what we're going to do is we're going to fry them and then put them in the oven so they're like crispy because we don't have an oil fryer yeah so we're going to do that so we've got the mozzarella dippers so we're going to fry them first okay so we're now going to put the mozzarella sticks in Okay, so it's now time to do the chippy chips. So basically what you do is you just pour the chips in. Ugh, that's disgusting. And then basically just mix it all in and just so that like, all the beef stock stuff is like in the chips kind of thing. And then put them in the dish and then they'll go in the oven. Yeah. And over there, Shannon is doing the mozzarella sticks. So, yeah. Okay, I've now finished the chips and Shannon has also done the mozzarella sticks, so she's just fried them. I'm now going to get out the burgers. So we've gotten these buns and we couldn't actually get one to seed on it, but it'll be fine. Um, and then we've also gotten the lettuce, which we're going to use. So I've just done one burger, but then basically, because obviously in the Big Mac you have like two burgers, so we need like double the bun kind of thing. So and I'm going to chop these in half. I'm going to try and do them exactly in half so it's like better. Yeah. Okay, so that is the burgers done. There's now like three in each one because obviously you have like the one in the middle. So, yeah. And Shannon is now dicing up the onions. So, Blake is now buttering the buns. It's middle. Yeah. And then we've got the onion there. We've got the lettuce there. And then mum has also got the, like, we got, we got like American style cheese. Like the cheese slices. slices. And then the burgers are cooking, we've got the mozzarella dippers over there, so yeah, we're all stations. Go, go, go. <laughs> so the first four burgers are done, so I'm now going to start putting them in here. And then I think I'm just going to let everyone do like, the letters and stuff themselves, so. Yeah. Um, so then the, we'll have the burger, and then we'll have like, the lettuce and stuff, or whatever anyone wants to put in there, and then the top bun, and then we'll have like, the chips and the mozzarella dippers. So yeah, this is going well. We are now dishing up the chips and hopefully they'll taste like McDonald's. Okay, I've now put the mozzarella dippers on and the chips on. The last burger is doing and so is the onion and then it will be done. So I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like. Okay, right. All burgers are done. We're just doing the top Is everybody things. having onions? I'll go ask. Are you guys all having onion? Yes, please. Blake, do you want onion? Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, no, Blake doesn't. Okay. Right. This is mine. It actually looks so yummy. Oh, I'm not going to take a quick thumbnail and then I'm actually going to go and eat it because it looks really good. Okay, so this is the final result. They're really good. Right, okay, guys, I'm going to taste test the chips and then the burger and everything so that I can show you. Thank you. So I can show you guys what I think. So, this is mine. It actually looks really yummy, so I'm hoping it's going to taste yummy. I'm going to try it on the chips first without ketchup and I'll do with ketchup afterwards. This is getting messy tea. Oh, they're really good. What are? On mozzarella sticks. Mm. The chips are really good because we put like, we put salt and stuff and pepper in the chips. Mm. The chips, ten out of ten. I love them. Mm. Now go try the mozzarella stick. Mmm. These are really good. Ten out of ten. <laughs> How am I going to do this burger? <laughs> what does everybody think? <laughs> Mum, what do you think? Mozzarella sticks are nice. Fries are nice. I've got to work out to get the burger in my mouth. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to work out how to actually get it in my mouth. But I've tried the mozzarella sticks. 
<laughs> I've tried the mozzarella sticks and the chips and I really like them, but I'm now going to try and taste the burger and then I'll come back once I've tried to get it in. Right, I've eaten the bread and I'm now going to try and get into the burger. <laughs> and then my mouth is going to go very big. Yeah, you can do that. <gasps> <gasps> I still didn't get any burger. I bet your subscribers are going to love that, Charlie. <laughs> mm hmm. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to taste like McDonald's, but it does actually taste quite a bit like McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Mustard in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that definitely adds to the I love these. Right. Mozzarella sticks. Food is now demolished. I couldn't, literally nobody could eat it all apart from Blake. <laughs> Blake ate, ate all of it and then he ate more. Um, but yeah, I've now finished. I'm getting very full up, but it was really, really good. Okay, right. Mum. Mm -hmm. Oh, where, where are you? What did you think about the chips? Very nice. What do you think about the mozzarella sticks? Very nice. What do you think about the burgers? Very nice. What do you think about the chips? Really, really good. What do you think about the mozzarella sticks? Really good. What do you think about the burgers? Amazing, especially with mustard and the onions. It makes it taste really like McDonald's. I need to get Blake's interview, but he is. What did you think of the chips? Alright. <laughs> Thanks. We're all like, yeah, very nice. What do you think right? of the mozzarella sticks? Good. What do you think about the burgers? Good. Would you eat it again? Yeah. Okay. I have weak, weak taste buds though, so I find it hard. Yeah, okay, the chips I thought were really good, and I think like having like the toppings and stuff makes it simple. Like having the but the beef stock you and everything made it a lot better because I, I feel like it tastes a lot better than just normal chips because it tastes like salty and everything like McDonald's does. I think the mozzarella sticks were really good, apart from when they started going cold, you could taste it. They were baby bell. And I think the burgers were really good, but they were super filling, but they were really, really good. So. Yes. Great. 10 out of 10 would eat again. Yes. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed it because it meant I got to eat basically McDonald's, so it was really good. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm now feeling extremely full up, so... We have apple strudel. We could so eat that because then it's like apple pie. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If there's any other takeaways that you want us to make as well, so like um, Domino's, KFC, Pizza Express, any of those, then let us know down below and we can do that um, again in another video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a super fun video to make. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe down below so you can see more of my videos. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye! Yeah, I'm stuffed.